we are ready to negotiate uh, whatever you want. Uh, choose the place, choose the time. We are ready. But uh, you should understand that our main demand is security guarantees for Russian people. Security. Uh, and uh, uh, you um, should understand that uh, NATO countries, it is a direct threat for Russia because NATO countries are moving NATO military infrastructures to my border, to borders of Russia uh, year by year. You are too close. To to, my country. Yeah, well, they would say that they're doing that to protect their own their own land because because of their proximity to Russia. They've seen what's happened in Ukraine and they're worried for their own security. They don't want to invade Russia. Vladimir Putin has won elections in 2000, 2004, 2012 and 2018. His share of the vote has got bigger each time. In 2018, he won 77% support. Western Russia experts uh, Western Russia experts point to the banning, imprisonment and murder of his opponents and his ruthless control of the media as his key election tools. We thought it was worth hearing the view from the other side. And so we're going to speak to Evgeny Popov, MP for Putin's United Russia Party and a TV host. Good morning to you. Good morning. Um, Thank you for giving me your thought. You, you're very welcome. Um, what would you say the national mood is right now in Russia. How do Russians generally feel about Vladimir Putin and the prospect of of him being in charge for another six years or so? Hmm. You know, we will see it after our election will end uh, on uh, uh, March uh, 17, and uh, we will see how many percent uh, Putin will get. But uh, of course, uh, uh, it's no doubt that Putin will be the next president of Russia, because Russian people wants to see him as a president. And uh, uh, I don't know why it's uh, not a good news for you. You told <laughs> your colleague told that it's bad news for us that Putin will rule Russia again. Mm -hmm. It's a, a good uh, news for us, for Russians. That's the main topic. And, uh, you know, um, uh, I, I don't care who rules uh, Great Britain. You will be an enemy, the enemy of my country, whatever um, uh, prime minister you have. But okay. uh, uh, you are so interested in uh, in our elections. I don't know why. Well, I, I, shall I tell you? I'll tell you why. Why? What? What the view, of course, is it, the the view from uh, the West, including the United Kingdom, is that Russia has invaded Ukraine. Um, and many, many thousands of Ukrainians ha have died. It's an invasion. It's not an operation. The people in Ukraine do not want to be invaded uh, by Russia. Therefore, that is a bad thing. Vladimir Putin is is keen for that to continue. He masterminded it. And, and that's why it's not good news for people within the West and, and, and other people in the world. Not everyone, of course, but that is definitely the view from the United Kingdom. You know, uh, you live in a world of myths uh, because uh, the war is continuing for 10 years, almost for 10 years. And uh, thousands of people have died uh, during this uh, tragic 10 years. But uh, 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 and uh, the West uh, thinks that uh, the Western democracy is better than ours. I don't know why. You just uh, tell your uh, viewers about uh, extremists. You are jailing people for uh, social media posts. Uh, you, are, you have a prime minister which is uh, uh, not being elected by people. How many people voted for Rishi Sunak? Could you tell me, please? But I can tell you that uh, millions of people in Russia voted for Putin mm. for years. We, OK, that's fine. We will be having an election. I mean, many, many people share, share that view. People who perhaps are not keen on Rishi Sunak, they, they feel that he, he was not voted. But that, that, that's a political process. That, that's part of our democracy. There will be an election probably in mm. November of, of, of this year. And then we will have a, a, an elected prime minister. But uh, uh, <laughs> I don't care who is ruling the Great Britain. Uh, you can uh, live 
uh, I don't know, in a dictatorship or some uh, um, other form of uh, a state, but uh, do not dictate us how to live. That's our one and main dem- demand. Mm-hmm. Because uh, who are you to teach us uh, democracy? Uh, we are sovereign, independent state, and we want to vote for uh, for the president uh, okay. in a system which is we choose. Mm-hmm. You know, yes, and, and you you can do it uh, uh, instead of us. Okay, uh, l- let's talk about opposition within Russia then, if if we could, Evgeny. Um, uh, Alexei Navalny uh, died uh, in a jail. He was an opposition figure. Uh, many people um, believe that this was uh, carried out uh, in some way uh, by people who support Vladimir Putin because they wanted to silence the opposition. Okay, that that is that is the theory. Uh, there is no proof of that, but that that is the theory. People who Russians who wanted to show pay their respects, show their support for Alexei Navalny, um, stood outside his funeral <clears throat> holding flowers. And many of them were filmed and many of them, not all of them, but many of them were arrested. Um, that doesn't sound like a democracy. Uh, first of all, it's not true. If you uh, have seen uh, his uh, funeral, nobody was arrested. They were arrested uh, afterwards. Some, uh, they were arrested uh, afterwards. You know, would you give me some cases? I don't know. Uh, because uh, and uh, it was uh, lots of people. It was... Uh, uh, as uh, I remember, um, around uh, 30,000 people uh, on a funeral, 30,000. Mm. We, uh, uh-huh. we have uh, um, uh, uh, 150 million people in our country. Uh, and uh, uh, we are a free country. And uh, if you uh, want to support something, somebody else, you can vote for somebody else. Or you can do with your uh, election whatever you want. Uh, of course, of course, uh, we have some limits because uh, we are at war, and you NATO countries are at war with uh, uh, Russia, and uh, you can't wish Russian soldiers to die. You can't uh, wish uh, to divide my country. Uh, you can't wish uh, some uh, military or something, some cope to my country and uh, you will be in a jail if you wish uh, my soldiers to die. Of mm. course, it's like, it, it's a law. And um, if you follow the law, you can do whatever you want. But Evgeny, again, that that is a that that seems like a fine uh, proposition. The point is that there are there are many opposition figures, and I'm not going to name them because you know their names, who have mysteriously died, who have been assassinated, and to say that, um, I mean, you're saying that you can't say bad things about Russian soldiers, uh, soldiers, etc. But people can be um, uh, arrested, they can be jailed, but they shouldn't end up dead, should they? Mm. <laughs> of course, um, uh, uh, if you, uh, I, I know what you mean, but uh, uh, if you um, are trying to tell me about um, mm, Mr. Nimtsov murder, but mm, mm, he was uh, one of the opposition uh, leader, but uh, our um, we have uh, found uh, his killers and they're in jail right now. Uh, if you can tell me, if you're trying to tell me about uh, like Politkovska uh, or somebody else, uh, uh, investigation is ongoing and uh, we are trying to find the uh, killers and the uh, murderer. Uh, but uh, uh, many people who is against uh, 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 Putin or against uh, uh, um, uh, military operation are still in politics in Russia. I can tell you that uh, we have uh, uh, Yablaka party, we have uh, Mr. Nadezhdin uh, uh, who is against the war and he is still uh, doing uh, um, uh, and share his political views. Uh, we are a sovereign state and democracy, dem- democratic country and uh, we have uh, uh, many views in our country, mm. but uh, the most people, 
believe to Putin. And that's a fact. And if you are trying to do something with that, you will not succeed. You should uh, deal with that. Uh, and uh, do not dictate us how to live again. Again, I don't think anyone is dictating anything. We're just ex we're expressing a view that is held by, by many people in this country and in um, the West. Um, Evgeny, I want to ask you if I can. I've just got one more question for you, which is, um, do you believe that, I mean, Vladimir Putin has been talking about a, a nuclear threat. Do you not think that perhaps um, he's, uh, he's, he's talked about nuclear war, he's described Western leaders as vampires with a taste for human flesh. Um, are those the right words to be using? Do you think Vladimir Putin perhaps should be negotiating for peace with Ukraine rather than threatening nuclear war and doom on the rest of the world? Uh, guys, you should listen to uh, Putin carefully. Nobody threatening to you by nuclear weapons. Uh, we're not going to use uh, nuclear weapons first. And uh, we have some deal with uh, China um, uh, that nuclear weapons will not be used. <laughs> it's clear. Uh, until you will not uh, invade my country, uh, or you will uh, you will uh, 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 use your nuclear weapons uh, against us. Uh, interesting question about negotiations. Mm -hmm. We are ready to negotiate uh, whatever you want. Uh, choose the place, choose the time. We are ready. But uh, you should understand that our main demand is security guarantees for Russian people, security. Uh, and uh, uh, you um, should understand that uh, NATO countries, it is a direct threat for Russia because NATO countries are moving NATO military infrastructures to my border, to borders of Russia uh, year by year. You are too close. To to, my country. Yeah, well, they would say that they're doing that to protect their own their own land because because of their proximity to Russia. They've seen what's happened in Ukraine and they're worried for their own security. They don't want to invade Russia. <laughs> uh, it's a long <laughs> talk, <laughs> uh, um, but uh, you know, um, you remember uh, Warsaw Treaty. Uh, Warsaw Treaty uh, is not exist right now, but NATO is existing. Would you explain it to me? And uh, um, why? Uh, um, what threat uh, was from Russia to NATO in the 90s? Nothing. No threat. But uh, NATO is still existing. Even more. You are moving your military infrastructure to my borders. Uh, before this military operation, before Ukraine uh, cope, you're moving it year by year from 90s to until now. Okay. Uh, I don't know why. Okay. It's a threat for Russia. You okay. should understand it. Okay. Evgeny, you've made your point, and I think many people will be very interested to hear what, what you've had to say. Um, Evgeny Popov, thank you. MP for... Uh, Vladimir Putin's United Russia Party and also a TV host. There we go, the gaslit view from uh, Russia uh, there. He thinks that we're living in a world of myths, but makes the point we'll always be enemies and we shouldn't be interested in what Vladimir Putin is doing. Apparently in Russia you can vote for anyone you like, uh, including opposition, and no one is killed by the state whatsoever.